Okay, so this is like a very hurriedly set up video. My phone is actually being supported by a empty glass jar and a spoon right now. But I feel like it's somewhat of an important video that I make. Just as like a pretty much public service thing. And like, what am I doing? Well, well, why, what is the purpose of this? Well, this right here, this lovely thing, this is my Surface Pro 6. It is just over seven months old. And there is, on one of my channels at least, at the time of recording, a glowing unboxing and first impressions video. Just absolutely glowing at how gorgeous this thing is and just how good the screen was and how amazing all that stuff is with this thing. Because genuinely, this thing has monstrous specs and it is just so like, thin and, like, absolutely beautiful. But, and I think you can see what's happened. Something's gone wrong with it. Let me just take the keyboard off, because the keyboard is fine. It's to do with the main bit. The expensive part. <laughs> Yay. Um, now... The kickstand, I don't know if you can quite make it out on the video, but it's not quite flush. Like, it's sort of, it sticks up a bit. Now, I'm not that fussy. I'm fine with it. If it sticks up a bit and that's how it's supposed to close, that's fine. I'm fine with it sticking up. But what's not fine is what happened last week. This time, well, no, what happened pretty much nine days ago, just last week. Last Sunday, I had my Surface with the kickstand open, and I packed it up to go down uh, to bring it back up here, because I, I was downstairs at the time. So and I packed it, like, you know, closed kickstand, closed side cover, all of that, to bring it back up here, to use it up here. And something very bad happened. Oh, my phone is being supported again by a glass jar and a spoon. So let me show you this side because there's nothing wrong with this side. Yeah, this one is, this side is fine. This is how the hinge on the Surface Pro 6 kickstand should look as you deploy it. Let me uh, position it a bit better. There you go. That is how it should look, if you can see. It has many, many bits. Ooh, I, did a, I did a bad thing. It has many, many bits, and it's very complicated. And my, I just realised my phone's front-facing camera doesn't have adjustable focus, so me trying to focus it is what was the bad thing. Then look at this. Look at all that play in it. Now, if I spin it around, and you can see the other side, and I just open it a little more. Sorry, that's as far as it opens now. Uh, that is what the hinge is supposed to look like, with all of its parts. That is what one of the hinges looks like now. Missing at least one of the bits that is vital for it to work. So, this is how I have to close it now. Oh, no, wait. Actually, you know what? I'll close it improperly just to show you what happens. That is what happens. Normal use, Microsoft. Seven months old, warranty. And this is the process, literally what it takes to get this to close again once it's done this.
It's really ugly, and I hate it. Oh, no, I think I've done something. Oh, no. See? This. This is the quality you're getting from Microsoft, it would appear. This is the quality Microsoft are happy to charge up to two and a half thousand pounds for. Two and a half thousand pounds in England. Which is just completely unacceptable. Like, I owned three iPads before I got this. And when I got this, I was like, this feels much better built than those iPads. And those iPads were pretty damn solid. I just realized I'm going off frame. There we go. So, yeah, this is very, very disappointing. And I wouldn't be make. Oh, hello, it's... Uh... There you go, but get me back in frame. And I actually just put that uh, there. There we go. So, yeah, this is very, very disappointing. And the reason I'm making this video, I wouldn't be making this video if I was able to get it fixed. Because if I was able to get it fixed, it's all right. You know, freak accident, sometimes one slips through quality control. No, I was refused service. Whatever reason that was, no company should be refusing to service a seven-month-old top-end product. This is, admittedly isn't the top-end, but, you know, as, as, as you can tell, this is really annoying. This is really stressing me out, actually, because this, this is how I link my college work with my home, because I can bring this to and from college, and I can do... Uh, quite a bit of my college work actually just on this so this is very important and Microsoft refusing to fix it is basically a big fuck you to every surface user out there if they're refusing to service this seven month old laptop or well, seven month old pro then just what happens if you buy a surface go that's literally half the price what coverage are they going to give you then? Well, this is my Surface Pro 6, and this is its kickstand. Only buy a Surface Pro at your peril. They are amazing tablets and amazing laptops, but with this build quality, it's too much of a gamble. Right. I'll be back with regular uh, programming soon. Uh, bye, I guess. <laughs>